getting back in here. I need a I need a real caster. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, you guys sweated on top of the space needle and, and called it a job. <laughs> uh, Max, did you get to keep your puppet, by the way? Team secrets turn to pick. I didn't get a puppet. A world devourer. Dire team pick. Well, if I had a puppet, I would be it would be bald. So <laughs> I could join the ranks of Shane and Perian. And the... <laughs> I said it was bald, not that it would be good looking. But uh, all right, <laughs> here we go. Secret. We'll be on the radiant side. They lead one of the best of three guys. Uh, what good gods? I would say, not amazing, but good. Team secrets turn to pick. Oracle. Dire team ban. <sighs> team secrets turn to ban. Yeah, they do again go back to well for the IO Bat Rider and you know against an OD, that Astral can be a real nuisance for the bat initiation, especially if he doesn't go in the OD. Then you've got the Oracle as well, so you've got two heroes that are pretty good against Bat in the vacuum. Do you... How much do you, like, value this IO Bat opening? Because LGD, it's clearly very powerful to them. They've gone two games in a row now. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Well, let's see if they can make it work this time around. Secret, even though they dealt with the Sven, they don't want to play him again. They will ban him. Leaving the IO partner pool a bit limited now. Of course, we've seen the storm run together with IO uh, for Secret. Not a hero. We haven't. We don't have too much tape on LGD. Not a hero they've been running. Uh, last game they had the Timbersaw, who's like an okay IO partner, I suppose. But yeah, we'll have to see where they want to go with it. Juggernaut. Now, Juggernaut will be snagged Team here by LGD pick. Forever Young. So they get a safe, stable core, someone who doesn't need a whole lot of help. Worked out for MP pretty well last time around. Uh, we've seen a lot of the mid jug as of late, but OD definitely not an easy hero to land against on your own. 10 seconds remaining. 5 seconds remaining. Reserve time. Third pick for secret now. What do they go back to the well for? Anything in particular? We see a four of Tidehunter a lot. He's pretty good against Batrider. Not so good against Jug. Puppy, puppy Marana. Hmm. There's also X. There's also the Kunkka. I almost said X. <laughs> yeah, that's just the, the, the hero that has the X ability. Uh, but yeah. Oh, 
Well, secret ogre. So bloodlust for the OD. Why uh, is nobody else running Beastmaster? By the way, is why is that EG the only team that values that hero so highly right now? Ten Witch seconds Doctor. remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Fourth pick now. <clears throat> I mean, am I uh, like just remaining. grab an iron talon, go to the jungle? <laughs> Show up five minutes later, you're level six, Dyer and get to work. <laughs> it has been very effective for some teams. Yeah, we were a little skeptical. We're like, eh, is he going to be able to get away with this? Can they punish his greed? But they really like they, they did some stuff to slow him down. But for the most part, he was very impactful. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Uh, so Morphling the choice now for Team Secret. Uh, natural Lincolns, uh, Sierra Builder, fairly difficult to relocate gank, uh, and even lasso later on in the game. And could go well with the Bloodlust, so still looking for that final core to tie things together for Secret. Definitely feel like it will be a 4 of hero, and something that can ideally take team fights, because they are very lacking in that regard. I really like Tide versus Io. So like, you don't really want to relocate on him. You can't really lasso him, and you can't ignore him either until the late game. So unless LGD like have a, a lane counter prepared to just really punish him uh, from the early stages of the game. Team Secrets hmm. turn to ban. I do not think that was the way Secret were headed. Ten seconds remaining. Hmm. Five seconds remaining. I mean, they're not very good at killing. A timber, I suppose, Reserved. and you already want to be able to lasso the morphling, Five but I don't know. That seems a little Team odd to me. Storm will be now banned out to round things out. So secret, fifth pick to come. Ten seconds remaining. Faceless void. Oh. All right, so a little bit of a different twist, uh, uh, but still great against Io. Uh, can really punish Juggernaut in team fights. Makes it very difficult for him to stay active and be hitting. Good setup uh, for OD, and they have plenty of damage to Ten dump the Chrono. It's like kind of unconventional damage, I guess. Oracle is a lot of damage to the table. Five Even the multicast can be nice. Shock and Morphling can really hit hard, and of course OD. But gods, are you ready for this fella? The ugly troll monster is back. Huskar, how how good of a Huskar game is it, is the question. They have an OD, they have 
some pretty decent physical damage later on in the form of the Morphling. But the Void Bash is magic. You've got almost exclusively nuke damage from these secret supports. Uh, Morphling generally likes to go for shotgun. Uh, so really your only reliable way to kill a Huskar is that OD uh, orb, the Arcano orb. Is that enough? Like, direct counter to it. They still do have a good lockdown, though. They've got the Astral to kite him, a stun from the Ogre. You've got uh, the lockdown of uh, Fortune's End uh, from the Oracle, and you've got the Chrono and the Ash, so... Yeah, they can't kill him quickly, but they, they might be able to just control him easily. The battle begins. Time is money to have this. So it is not, it is not the jug mid. It will be the Huskar, as you mentioned. And uh, Monet actually going to start things off with a completed magic wand versus uh, the OD ogre. That is a an odd lane to start with a wand in. Maybe he's expecting the Oracle to like help out here a bit, I guess. Not sure. Well, as as scary as Hunter is later on, he is not very good at level one. The spears uh, take the same amount of health at all levels. They don't do all that much damage. You generally don't have that much regen to support using them, and of course you won't have your Berserker's blood at this stage of the game, so a couple auto attacks from Puppy and Monet's already smartened. And they get some good damage on him. Uh, and at the same time, Monet able to fire back a little bit. Puppy's still hanging out in the neighborhood, so we'll take a quick survey of our other, other lanes here. It's 4 Ev. There's an off-lane Void up against the Juggernaut and a Witch Doctor. Not a very easy kill lane on the Void. And with the early Bounty Rune off to a pretty good start, as Secret did grab both bounties to begin the game. Young for you, playing the off-lane Bat, his, his uh, counterpart, and well, MP and Pile I Die so far. Seems like they're free farming for us, Morphling. And then come the come the mid lane. Mid one doing pretty well here. This pilot I don't just creep in under cover of invis. Oh, here comes Puppy. 4F trying to bait this one a bit. Out comes the ignite. The 4F so low. I don't know if he can get the kill. Actually, that physical damage from the Ogre Auto Tanks gets the job done. It sucks, so to the rescue. And now Puppy might be able to get a secondary kill here. There is a salve on Super, but if he could just ignite him and keep on clubbing him, I don't know that Super makes it out. He's got the slightly better move speed, but with that slow, he is going to get hit at least once more. If they can get that last Auto Tech off, it would be enough, but not quite in time.
Yeah, they're they're more playing than you imagine. Absolute free fire, and still the OD doing quite well mid despite the early pressure. They're slowing down the Hussar. They get the first blood. Nothing really snowballing for an LGD lineup that it feels like needs to have a good laning stage because they're just up against such overwhelming team fight in late game mods. And it's just the beauty of the Void pick, is they're not very good at zone him at all. They have a cask, and that's their only stun. There's no flaw up lane until they get the less, so there's simply no way they can prevent him from getting this experience. You don't have like the likes of a Disruptor, uh, who can counter Time Walk easily with a glimpse, and there isn't a Silence, uh, such as a Skyray, Skyray, Skyrath, uh, Mystic Seal to, to keep him in place, so he's able to get what he wants out of the lane. Now with Pukkar, you need the you need not only a fast starlet, which he's not really getting, but you also do need your levels. You want to match Berserker's blood. You want to <clears throat> get at least a couple points in right now. You need the ultimate, uh, ideally max the burst spear. So you really don't hit your peak until like that level, you know, nine blood range or so. But he is nowhere near it. And at this rate, it will be a delayed, uh, delayed level nine to eleven. Mid one continuing to banish him and just punish him, denying him pretty heavily. If you're LG gods and you look at these lanes, what Dyer's sort of adjustment do you look to make? Can you make an adjustment or are you just banking on your mid game? Oh, they found Xiao Wei bottom. Quick waveform over the top after the fortune's end. We'll secure an easy kill while we're on the top lane. They want to make a go here. Super doesn't demand for a Blade Fury. They already committed the Omni side trying to find a kill of his own. He will get best brought down in the end. So secret. That's a disaster now. So they've lost their carry. The Morphling's been fed one. He's only up 17 CS. And Huskar not even farming all that well. He just finally no, slightly ahead of the OD, but they've completely abandoned this off. With Dunk for you, just AFK in the jungle. The one piece of good news is he will have a faster than last game if he doesn't die at the rate he's going, but it comes at a great cost, guys. So what is what is going well for LGD? I challenge you to find the silver lining right now. Bat is in the jungle. Uh, oh, he's dominating those jungle creeps. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Got him. Uh, and other bad news, MP's already taking a tower for the LGD fans out there. Uh, it's not good, gods. He's up 1,300 gold off the enemy juggernaut. Generally, if you're going to slow down the Morphling, it is this stage of the game, the early lanes, where I wouldn't say he's horribly weak, but he, he can be a bit underwhelming if pressured. But that, that window's closed now. Just the Helm of Iron Will picked up for Monet. Still ways to go for his armlet here. We'll see LPC head towards the burn. He will grab a bounty. Until they get that letter of the bat, they're, they're not really doing anything, it seems.
to see Secret looking for that smoke play in the mid lane, yeah, as they will group up. Uh, but Secret with the high ground advantage. They also have Chrono available, no TP on 4 though. This could really come back to haunt them. DD up on one, it's only going to take a couple of auto attacks to secure kill. They go to Mene, who gets absolutely chunked down. Mid one, just bringing the pain onto him, but the death board comes through. Together with the Maldic, forcing him back that faceless void. Still yet to even think about a teleport scroll pickup. Stuck around top the whole time. They lose two heroes. Boy, they really could have used. I think, I think he may have TP'd to farm in lane, so couldn't, wouldn't have the cooldown to come to the fight. But that that does really hurt them, guns. Oh man, <laughs> Monet not having fun here early with the kind of started one had. He is definitely making life hard for the Huskar and those orbs. Even though there's not all that much in the way of items on the OG, still hurt a lot. But this could be the engine for the comeback. Young for you, grabbing his blink. For has the Chrono, he's gonna go back in. Super has an Omni, but don't know that he gets it off here. The Pile Die nukes raining in, and he will end up popping there to an extra purifying flame. It's already level three. So another death for the Juggernaut. This one, not so much his fault, but they are starting to add up. The Secret make their move on the mid lane. Simultaneously trying to go on Monet. Can they keep him alive? Shall we? Doesn't have any points in the heal. He will drop very quickly. And now Young for you, getting off the last and trying to focus down mid one, but it's instantly perks off because Twilight died. Just hit level six, but perfect timing for that. Can't even kill on Puppy, who barely limps away with just a sliver of HP. The lone death is that OD, and it's going to come at greater cost. As MP has joined the fight. He makes it a team one secret is laying out LGD Forever Young. Oh boy, talk about getting outplayed, gods. And they did all of that without even needing the Chrono in the mid-fight. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. At a level 2 Berserker's Blood, especially before you have an armlet, it's it's not really enough effective HP for him to live through the amount of damage the mid one can dish out uh, from that Astral Stamp, so... Mid one given that bloodlust, that extra bit of move speed could potentially try to make a move on Super Astral. And so ultimate would be close to killing him, but Young for you does have a last already. He wants to use it, doesn't have the flame break to be able to turn this fight around, but they relocate forward. Moving on to mid one, will be able to almost focus him down. They get that second backline kill, and now they will turn around for the OD. Mid one defaults well. They make it two for nothing, so that first relocate, a successful debut, and playing around the Chronosphere ground quite nicely. They almost get a third kill in the form of 4 -Ev. A bit too late to assist this team in that fight, and we'll walk it off. Radiant structures are fortified. Uh, Chrono comes through to connection, gets the bash on Monet, gets the kill on him, and now turning for super. No Omni Slash available any longer, but the IO is here with that level up overcharge to try and save him. MP turning to the north, focusing down Xiaohei, muscles down that Witch Hawker. And now flapping away, it will be young for you, but overall for LGD, that last minute or so, gods, they force out a Chrono, they do lose their Huskar and their Witch Doctor, but they got a couple of core kills, and they also did take a tower, though. Right as I say that, MP, he gets a tower of his own. Almost has a Lincoln's complete now if he wants it, and how are they going to deal with this Morphling?
Nice Maddox here by Xiao Wei, but is there any sort of follow-up? Gets chunked down by mid one, brought quite low, and now the Witch Doctor, or uh, sorry, excuse me, the Huskar rise, moves on the pilot, I gets the ultimate off on himself, stalling while the rest of the team retreats. It will be a noble sacrifice here. As he tries to kill off Xiao Wei, he will be unsuccessful in that attempt, but even when Secret lose something, for the most part, it's been minor casualties, and that, the Morphling not done, the Void farming quite well. Uh, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, no chrono for 30 though. Maybe a bit risky to go there. To C4 as just hitting the top tower radiant. Dan is uh, gonna barely clip a young freedom shall as they walk to the pit. And the Roshan. Roshan has fallen to the side. Immortality! Now Lasso onto the ugly ogre, but he just lumbers away. We'll be allowed to retreat. They get their Aegis. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, so for LGD, they have the armlet Dyer's on Monet now. He closes attack. in on that level 9 Radiant's to 11 mark, just now eclipsing attack. level 9. Generally, we see teams at this stage just look to siege behind the Huskar and hit towers. They do have healing ward. Like, you can see the synergy of the lineup with the maxed out overcharge, at least the one point in Voodoo Restoration, but... Is it going to be fast enough, gods? Because already with max blood loss to farm more plane as Bladsome for it, it feels like Seeker can push just about as fast, and there's not too much LGD can really do to stop them from split pushing. Trying to bait with this Oscar, the Chrono committed, but it also catches LPC. He's a fairly squishy Io. Is he going to be able to get on that squad? He will, but he ends up dropping anyway. The OD may fall after this Astral, but already the Aegis cracked open. A support down as well. Mid one steady is ground. The hammer drop. Close up to a complete slaughter in the top lane and straight on the money. They fought their way through a Huskar engine. He ain't so scary after all. It's the Ogre who's the real beast in the front line. Puppy stands his ground. They team wipe their way through an Aegis. Six to nil in that particular fight. And uh, uh, this might be where they just call the game. <laughs> Dyer's top tower has fallen. They are getting to work here in the mid lane. Secret, no chrono for now, but some decent damage done and pretty desperate smoke by LGD. They just lost a fight with the Aegis, got team up and back for nothing, and now they're going to try to make something happen in the mid lane. They do grab Puppy, but he's instantly kept alive by the false promise. They committed a dunk onto him, so they just turn back and kill off Monet. Chrono currently on cooldown, and LGD trying to capitalize on that very fact, but already super low. They won't risk the fight without the chrono, but 20 seconds it holds up a blink on 4-Eb. BOT's on the Morphling along with that Lincoln's already, so if they don't want to fight, their ability to split push just ramps up a significant factor. LGD will try to push a little bit further, but thank god, he's got a blink chrono. They're gonna fight this, I think. 4 just baiting. Oh dear, three hero chrono, shall we? Not caught, but a good time dilation there. LPC just fed himself right into the chrono. He didn't get the relocate out, it looks like, as the Astral Kaler are holding Monet in position. The rest of LGD on the run, 4F looking for the bash to finish off the way in the back lines, but also elsewhere in the front line. Down goes the Huskar to combine him with the Vet Rider, and on top of that, shall falls. That's three more, four more hitting the deck in the end. 
All too easy for Secret. LGD just look completely outmatched. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Uh, perhaps Shao Wei spending a, a little too much time trolling the, the cam girl websites with Zai and, and not enough time uh, practicing with his team gods. I don't know what to tell you. Dyer's bottom tower I, mean, I mean, sure the guy is a celebrity and all, but that doesn't mean you could just Dyer's rock up, hunt over, and, you know, after a fun night out in the town and expect to dominate the likes of the mighty secret. <laughs> On a serious note, they are a new roster, uh, with some less experienced bases to be sure. And, uh, it is only one series, but it has been a spanking at the hands of Secret. Juggernaut! Ah, uh, poor Super. One maybe who would at least hope to force out a Chrono. Instead he goes for the enemy, but already prepared with Pilot Eye with the False Promise. And that healing ward, the last survivor of this particular gank, also will fall. No mercy from 4 Evan. Oh, let's see how this LGD gank goes on the other side. They look for MP. They've got to break the Lincolns and last them and focus them down. He has the Ghost Scepter on top of this. Can they really get up? on Death Ward Maladic keeps so damn tanky. And out he goes, just calmly able to make it away, and the whole team's suddenly there to turn this thing around. Chronosphere comes through, the Morphling kept alive, Monet getting clubbed down by an Ogre, death by a support hitting you inside the Chrono. Now that's embarrassing. Three, about to be four unless LPC can TP himself away, and actually it will be four, not five. The lone survivor, a puny IO, and now that's, that's it. Team Secret, victory! Well, the folks out there, they wanted the next slide, and uh, the final slide of this one is a decisive Team Secret victory, gods. PowerPoint concluded.